What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Gold Gun YouTube channel. And welcome back to the Subaru turbocharging build. So this is my 2006 Subaru Impreza. I turbocharged it and it's been running good, but now it's time to tune it. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me to do this. I found out basically that I can just do this with free computer software and like a $15 cable I bought off of eBay. I have done some things to increase the fuel flow without tuning the car, like installing a 255 LPH Walbro fuel pump and a rising rate fuel pressure regulator. I have a wideband oxygen sensor. And while it did drop the AFRs into like the high 13s, sometimes low 13s under boost, it's just not enough. It's a very crude way of tuning. I'm going to start off by just removing the rising rate fuel pressure regulator. Also, I have some bigger injectors, some WRX dark blue 5, I think 565cc fuel injectors. So I'm going to try to tune it without those first, but I might end up needing to upgrade my fuel injectors. But for now, let's go ahead and remove my 10 to 1 rising rate fuel pressure regulator and get ready to tune. for now hose you're in the way i have a video installing this unit here so if you haven't already get out of here so if you haven't already guys check that video out if you want to all right there we go no more rrfpr guys now it's time to tune the car but first we gotta get these hoses back where they belong. We gotta get this hose here taken off. And then this is the actual return hose. So we can take this nipple off. I said we can take this nipple off. Well, we gotta get this hose off too. Let's go ahead and get that first. All right, we don't need that hose anymore. Okay, there we go. Now we've just got to get this factory return line back on the fuel regulator. And there we go. So the RRFPR is no more. Back to normal driving. All right, so another day working on the Subaru, I got I th I've had some check engine light codes. I think the first one was due to a short and the oxygen sensor wires going to the downstream oxygen, sens oxygen sensor. That's the one that doesn't really matter, but uh, it was giving me a check engine light code. I fixed that and I've had a recurring code, which is just uh, P0172, which is bank one sensor uh, two rich. And I originally thought it was because I had that sensor in my up pipe. Someone told me that there's too much pressure there and it'll make the oxygen sensor read richer. So I moved it to my down pipe and I still had the same pending end check engine light code. So I went ahead and got my computer hooked up in here. I'm using ECU Explorer. So I'm about ready to save my stock ROM. 
I took a little bit of messing around, but I finally got the ECU Explorer connected to my car with this VAGCOM cable. So now I just gotta save the ROM, and I figured I'd film it in case I break my ECU, it'll make a good video at least. First, connect green test mode connectors, check. Connect the white flash block. I don't have a white flash block, but I do have this cable, and it is connected. All right, so I think we are ready. Next up is to turn the ignition to on. All right. Right ROM image to ECU flash memory. That's what we want to do first. So let's go ahead and do it. Yes, I'd like to proceed. And then let's just save it as stock ROM just because I have no f***ing clue what I'm doing. All right, let's go ahead. Stock ROM. Save. Okay, and I did all that stuff. Okay, I don't know what just happened. I hope it didn't break it, but process complete well guys this has been one hell of a journey uh, I did what a lot of people think what thought was impossible I flashed my ECU with a $11 VAGCOM cable and I did that using this special cable which has an FTDI driver in it an F2 232 FRL or something like that that's the uh, the chip that's in it, it's an FTDI chip and it's very important for flashing your ECU. You can't do it without it because this first one that, that I bought does not have the FTDI chip in it. It's just a normal VAGCOM cable and it definitely has different chips in it because this one, the LED light only lights up when you plug it into the ECU and this one lights up when you plug it into your computer. So this one is only good for logging and nothing else. So, and this one seems like it's good for both. So definitely a good cable. I'll put a link for it in the description. And if you're watching this video from a long time after I posted it and the link no longer works, then just look, type in on eBay, FTDI VAGCOM cable. You gotta make sure it says something about FTDI in the title or description. All right, it's done, but okay. And turn the key off and disconnect the test connectors. Hopefully we downloaded the ROM. So the ROM did successfully download and I've opened it up in ROM Raider and I've got to edit a few things and then I'm gonna reflash the ECU. All right, so I've got to turn off a few of these pesky check engine light codes, uh, the ones that I need to turn off. P0138 Rear O2 sensor high voltage Don't need that one <laughs> Turn that off And then P0172 Don't need that one either These are the ones I'm having trouble with Gotta get my car inspected So I'm gonna turn these off for now all right, off and off. And the other one that I've seen come up a couple times, might as well just turn it off too. Well, I'll just turn all these off for the rear O2 sensor. High voltage is off, slow response is off, and low voltage is off. Okay, got all those off. And now, other thing I want to do is do this uh, force pass readiness monitors. 
So I can also pass inspection and take it tomorrow morning nice and quick. Turn that on. And we can save it. Okay, overwrite it and reflash. Okay, now we gotta reflash it. So let's open up ECU flash again. And then are we connected, I think we are. Now let's hit test right to ECU. This is just gonna make sure that everything is good before it actually writes it to the ECU, make sure it's compatible and everything. All right, let's see what she says. Will it flash? I don't know. Where does it say? So, I'm going to go ahead and write this ROM to my ECU. This is the fucking scary part, but let's do it. Write to ECU. <laughs> All right, it's flashing. This would be the worst time to unplug the battery or turn the key off or for my computer to die. Really hoping none of these things happen. Okay, it worked. Damn, all right. Let's turn the key off. And unplug the connectors. Just to make sure I didn't brick my ECU, I'm gonna go ahead and start my car. There we go, it starts. All right, now let's see if the readiness meters have checked through. Look at that, folks, completed, everything's completed. And it didn't actually complete. All right, now I can get my car inspected, hell yeah. Shut her down. So I figured that out by, uh, well, I, I just, after reading the forum posts where people basically said how they did this, they were all talking about installing the right drivers which were FTDI drivers which I installed but uh, once I up updated the driver for that cable it made the cable not work anymore because that cable did not have an FTDI chip this one does and that's why it worked so I updated a few things I didn't really do too much tuning per se I kind of just uh, jimmied the switch to get my uh, my car to pass inspection here but if you're a cop I'm sorry just keep scrolling but now I know that I can read and flash my ECU and do all that fun stuff so now I can actually install the bigger injectors and tune it so let's get this thing inspected and then we'll get it running a lot better it's definitely pretty exciting to be able to tune my car for using free software and an $11 cable and uh, not have to pay tuners to do it, which would probably cost thousands. <sighs> Let's start with something, something good, guys. So if you have any other questions on how I made this work, comment down below. If you have any problems or anything like that, I'll try to help you the best I can. I've done a shit load of research, spent hours surfing the web, trying to find out how to get this to work, and I finally did. So I'll, I will put a link to a couple of the forum posts that I read in the description. So. If you need any further guidance, check those out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gold Guy YouTube channel. Comment down below, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully, we'll be getting this car nice and tuned. See you guys. Peace out.